Yeah, it means a lot. Uh, this is, um, you know, I'm just one piece of it, and I think it, you know, it says a lot about Terry and, and Kim and, and what they give us and the, and the resources they've provided us over the years and uh, the, uh, the partnership that I have with Brandon and, uh, and then the coaches uh, just doing a phenomenal job, a lot, of, a lot of good players through those four or five years now, and um, it's, been a, it's been a team effort, so the fans included. I mean, we, it hasn't all been you know, the high, highest of highs all the time, but uh, that's to be expected around the NFL, and uh, them sticking with us has been important, and uh, it was great to see them again today. Um, that's what we expect. Uh, that's that's what we've talked about since day one. Um, but I don't want to get too far ahead of us, you know. And, and let's keep our our focus where it needs to be, which is right in front of us. And and uh, this past game, obviously, and then moving forward into next week. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was very impressed with the way the offensive line took over the game and uh, and the running backs as well. I thought Devin, that that series, um, the two series after, so we get the, the uh, turnover, unfortunately, after half. Defense comes out, makes a huge stop. Um, Ed Oliver made a couple big plays in that series there. And then, um, you know, they take the delay, they punt it, goes into the end zone, great situational football there. And, and then uh, Devin came out and, and was just an animal that next series, which I thought was a great momentum boost to our team. I, you know, I, I wish I could tell you this specifically one thing, Josh, so you can write a good story about it. But I, you know, he's always, um, you know, this year in particular since he came back, uh, to training camp, you could tell he had really worked his his tail off, and um, and I think he inspires the guys by the way, by his style of running. Um, he's not a very big guy, but um, I can recall two or three runs on that next series that I alluded to already, where and those are, those were big runs for us, and and uh, you could tell there was something something a little bit more he was given right there. Yeah, I, I think it uh, it, br it brings to, s to the surface our two-dimensional offense, and uh, and that's a hard type of offense to defend. Was that a conversation you guys had at halftime? Like, you know, this, we can run the ball, we can get some yards. Where's more of what, what was the advantage of halftime? Well, I think just overall, I won't get into specifics, really. Um, I think overall, the, the players did a really good job of executing what was addressed at halftime, uh, offensively and defensively and special teams. Um, so when you can do that, I and mean, these games are going to be tough. It's, it's uh, late December, early January now. The weather is what it is, and um, that's the style of game you're going to be in every week, and you've got to be able to adjust through the course of the game. I think they, the Falcons were one for four, if my math is right, in the red zone. And uh, third down, so great situational football over. And when you look at third down and red zone on both sides of the ball, uh, maybe that was part of the, you know, the difference in, in the score. Josh had the two rushing touchdowns early. He's not having a great game in his own yet. How much do, does his legs help? How does that change anything for you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's another component to our run game. Um, obviously, wanting to be mindful and selective where we can with that because of Josh um, and the position he plays. So, um, but it's a good complement to what we do again. Josh, when you take us back to that time, you're down there in their red zone, I think you're on the 10 yard line, you're up by nine, and maybe the first half, three minutes left or three and a half minutes left, whatever it is. The way things shifted from an emotional standpoint, I know you say you want to get to the end because you know you're at halftime, but from an emotional standpoint, to go from ahead to comfort somewhat and then be behind it at halftime, can you take us into that aspect of being a coach, being a team? Yeah, being a coach. I, well, the coach and the level and the word you were about to that was about to come out of your mouth, comfortable. Don't know, they don't go in the same sentence. Um, uh, 
but I, I thought it was a, it was definitely a momentum change in the in the second quarter there, and we came in at halftime and we had to get that back. We had to get our guys re-energized and back believing in what they were doing and how they were doing it, and and I thought the coaches did a great job with that and the players executed. Yeah, I thought that was important. Um, you know, those are those are hard hard ones for a, for a coach. Right, the ball is so important, and we turned it over three, four times today. However, you want to count uh, count that one. Um, so, I mean, it's it's hard to win when you do that, and that'll be a valuable lesson for him, and I hope a a stepping stone in his career. I think overall for our team, um, I think that was a was a good moment for our team just in terms of how we came out of that and and what we were able to do um, with the game, um, uh, you know how it wasn't going our way at times uh, through the turnovers in particular and and find find another way to win and and uh, you're going to have days he's going to have days like that and um, but I have full full confidence in, in Josh Allen. No, he knows. I mean, he's if it, if this was his first first year, um, then I would have had to said you know something or you know just to follow up on it. But um, he already knows. We talk about it a lot. How important the ball is, and same thing with Marquez. He he already knows. And the biggest thing is, can you reset right through the course of a game? Is can you reset and get back on your A game and and uh, and learn from it. Yeah, I was fired up. I mean, that was a big, I mean, right there, we come out of halftime and you were saying, hey, this is, let's everybody get back on it. And you try and get enter, try and get momentum back with our energy and we come out and throw an interception. And um, I think the ball may have, in fact, got tipped maybe there. But um, that was a big, to me, a big changing point in the game, uh, turning point in the game with momentum. Uh, the defense came out uh, and I thought did a great job adjusting on their part in the locker room at halftime. And, and shut them down. And I think it was, uh, like I said, they took a delay to punt it right there. So, and then it goes in the end zone. So it was a good, it was a good complimentary football piece. And then the ensuing drive on offense, I think we went down and scored a touchdown as well. So, um, just high level of football. Say that again. Yeah. I think the biggest thing right there is that's something we can learn from as a team. Um, that those those are going to be play a big part in results of games down the stretch. And um, you know, I know we'll talk about that on uh, on the early part of next week here as a team. Uh, yeah, I thought there were some really good moments. I really did. And then I thought there were some times where we could have been better. Um, but overall, again, not having looked at the film, I think I, you know we were able to get to the quarterback on early downs. We got to him at some point as well on, on, on third down and fourth downs. Um, so I thought that there was some really good moments and probably some really good things when I turned the tape on and watch it. Um, then there were some where uh, you know we, we could have been better, and I'm sure the, the guys feel the same way. Uh, you know, again, Josh, I think I uh, appreciate where you're coming from. I just I think it's just overall how we wanted to play this game or that situation within this game. It's not always going to be like that. It's just uh, what we feel like the situation calls for. Did you like that play call with Pat 73? I like when he's open better than when he's double covered. <laughs> Why don't you name which what, what, what fun things we've done? We've done. <laughs> 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 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it is. Yeah, I mean, this is, at the end of the day, listen, we're, we're professionals in what we do, right? But at the end of the day, there's got to be some level of energy that comes from doing some things, right? And, and, and not only on the field, but off the field as well. So I think that is a part of, of good teams is that chemistry, that synergy, and, and you get that through different ways. You said Devin, is that right? Yes. Yeah, um, he doesn't say a lot, um, and I really appreciate the way he approaches his, his job. Is He comes to work, he's prepared, he knows the details of his job, not only when he's carrying the ball, but when he doesn't have the ball, which is a big part of being a complete back. And I think that's a lesson for, for all the players on our team, including the guys at his position. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.